Whilst staying in the ROK, the country's car makers are some of the world's biggest auto exporters. But companies like Hyundai and Kia are running into trouble at home. And the formula they use to get a larger share of the global market is being turned against them. Joseph Kim explains from Seoul. Product designer Im Jung Tech bought his BMW for around $60,000 five years ago. That's double what South Koreans pay on average for domestically manufactured cars like Kia and Hyundai. The BMW is the second car Im has owned. He says he bought it mostly because of the prestige of owning a foreign-made automobile. By driving a foreign car, our company looks better for clients and gives them the assurance that we are doing well. That influenced my decision and, of course, I wanted this car. Im isn't alone in choosing foreign brands over domestic ones. Imported cars recorded their highest ever monthly sales in South Korea in March, exceeding 20,000 units sold. And domestic car makers are feeling the heat. Hyundai Motors' first quarter net profit for this year was down 2.2 percent, while sales revenue for Kia Motors fell 6.3 percent. Domestic companies still think local consumers have an affinity for their products because there hasn't been a lot of competition or options. So without lowering their prices or raising quality, consumers would still be forced to buy their merchandise. Hyundai and Kia are at risk of losing their dominant market share after decades of near monopoly in the domestic market. South Korea now has numerous trade liberalization deals, and people here have less reason to support homegrown brands. South Korean car makers also have another worry, the one strength against the yen, that gives Japanese rivals like Toyota an edge competing for market share. While the one fell versus the dollar in the first quarter, it's since soared against the Japanese currency, recently hitting a seven-year high. Last year, Hyundai and Kia's combined market share in South Korea dipped below 70 percent for the first time since the two companies merged in 1998. One reason includes growing backlash in the domestic auto market. South Korean consumers argue they are paying more but getting less compared to identical models the companies export abroad. Joseph Kim for CCTV, Seoul.